God, four dollars and ten cents, yeah. guys. Okay, yeah. okay, I like it. I like uh, the energy, uh, guys. Come on, let's let's get to let's at least five before hey, the set. Hey, actually, no, guys, I have a challenge. Get it to ten dollars before this before doubles ends. Okay, yeah, you get guys. Yeah, ten dollars before doubles ends. Yeah, yeah until doubles ends. Okay, that's a records. very long period of time. Let's break records. Break records. You know, uh, some people told me you could never get ten dollars match Reno and doubles. You know, let's prove them wrong. Whoa, hey guys, come on. Yeah, you can't let the prophecy come true. Um, but it seems like we're going to. Did they, did they check off our stage? They probably just were like PS2. Yeah, yeah, probably yeah. Like PS2, probably. Look at that. I'm yeah. psychic. Yeah. Now, um, yeah. PK. Now, see, now here's the thing. <laughs> Already. <laughs> oh my god. The Suarez almost got blended. <laughs> But yeah, all, but all, you saw actually PK Chris start out with a, um, a PK Thunder, right? Trying to actually hit decal off stage because I feel like they know, right? I feel like they definitely understand what's going on here. Yeah, it's, it's literally a fort that they build. Oh, oh no. great combo into his own teammate there, there from PK Chris. Yeah, great. And great double parry. Like, nobody actually gets that splash hitbox parry on PK Chris, actually. Pretty hard to hit. Yeah, and yeah, and Joe Pond just pushing both of them to the back, to the back off stage, the back air. Yeah, I feel like when they're both off stage, they move their fort forward a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that, that being on the ledge will now cover the ledge? It's with like it. it's like a game of Battleship, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's literally like I feel like I saw like 85% of the match. Uh, Dan the Man is behind Joe Pong. <laughs> like he's never in front of him. Yeah, never. Like it's actually crazy. And oh, and they almost that was another almost another stop. And uh, yeah, and um, I was just about to say like they, they had no re, re grab vulnerability. Yeah, and that's what's so good. Like even if D, um, Dan the Man dropped the edge guard right there, Joe Pong and Pikachu's like a mobility is able to just pick it right back up. I mean, this is a really nice upset if they can manage to pull this off. Yeah, and that double ar ju double jump armor saving Suarez right there. And that Pika Thunder actually also saving Steven Suarez getting out of the combo. Yeah, and you, and you already see Suarez trying to throw eggs over Pikachu to put some type of pressure on Dan the Man. It almost seems futile right here. I feel like it's like HX is like really slow, and I feel like with just how much the pace of this match is going, it's been so tough for them to get that projectile game to interfere. And Dan the Man's really just been on point too. Like, he finds these kills so well. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, it's just tough right now. Just try, literally trying to break this Pikachu wall. And oh, oh and that was a good, that was a good egg by Suarez because yeah. if he did not throw that egg, that was a, that was Pika Chris's stop. Great high recovery there from Dan the Man. Fortunately, going to die to Joe Pun, but that was his first stock. <laughs> yeah, it, do, it just does not matter. That's and, and that's the thing. And DK is also like a very good stock. Thing. He's a heavy character, right? And even P I remember PK Chris. Back through DK at like 130, didn't die. Yeah. Right? Most characters just get obliterated by that one. But... Uh, it's it, when you can barely land hits on him and he lives so long, the like weakness of his recovery seems less relevant. Especially like when Joe Pun's so good at covering him when he's off stage. Yeah. He's like had not had to deal with the weak weaknesses of DK yet so far. Oh yeah, at all. And right now they're doing a very good job at methodically pushing Dan the Man towards one side of the stage, taking Joe Pond's stock, and now, you know, if they could take DK's stock right here, this is, this could be a good look for them. Once again, living yeah. that at a really high percent, but that, that one mattered a lot more than the last one, because now your stock lead's gone. I mean, still a yeah. pretty hefty lead, but definitely possible to lose, especially when they're separated right now. This is scary. Yeah, and, and right now, you know, Joe Pond threw a lot of, threw, threw out a lot of these panic forward smashes, right? Just trying to get people off of it, and you know what? He got punished pretty hard for that, and, um, you had to have Dan the Man come out and kind of save him for a little bit. Ooh, oh, <gasps> almost the dead nest. <gasps> Falling oh, out no, but reading that, that air dodge. dodge. That was clutch. Oh! Wow. Dan the Man. Joe Pwn had a bit of flubs that game, but Dan the Man picked it up really well. Yeah, reading yeah, that air <laughs> dodge super hard. And even that off stage down, uh, reverse down B at the end, that was so tricky, you know? DK's jumping in front of you. You feel like you're safe and just be reversing. And that spike, I feel like, might go through the double jump armor because it's like a multi hit. Yeah, and th no, yeah, Dan the Man definitely, like, you know, save that, you know, save that set, right? You can feel it slipping a little bit away from them right after, you know, he got killed by Joe Pwn's forward smash. And, it was, you know, Joe Pwn was getting pressured a lot by Suarez and Nest, right? And now, 
Danderman actually to come out, provide some support, and you know, ended up just stealing both of those stocks. And um, yeah, man, good, yeah, good job holding down the fort. And this FD counter pick seems pretty good because I feel like uh, with their fort becomes a lot less broken when there's no little ceiling to protect them in the platforms, you know. So I, I don't know if the ledge game is going to be quite quite as good with it, but uh, we'll see. I feel like they're still playing really on point, and if Joe Pone can just not make those flubs, it could be like a really dominant lead. Yeah, and starting out. out. <laughs> oh my god. I love the confidence from Dan the Man. You know, he just like, I feel like no matter, even though these players are like really well regarded, he just does not care. Yeah, no, it, it does not matter. I'm DK. <laughs> like, honestly, I feel like when you, when you play. <laughs> that would have been funny. Yeah, <laughs> when you play DK, you have to kind of not care, right? Because it's like, you, or you already know your weaknesses. Like, you want to just use all your strengths to the best of your ability. Yeah, I mean, and when you're throwing moves out, you feel he's such a good character, you know? So, like, as long as Joe Pone can stop him from getting overwhelmed, it's just, I feel like DK's really good in doubles. Yeah, right now, yeah, yeah. Dan the man resetting. Oh, oh my god. I like the attempt. I feel like an up air would have been a bit of a safer bet, but it really does not matter. Joe Pone instantly picking up. That's some damage on Suarez. Wow, he tried to get that drag down there mid down air. <laughs> and PK Chris is kind of like pressing. I mean, Ness likes to mash, but I feel like this is a bit overkill right now. Yeah, you know, he's pressing. He's, he's pressing for, trying buttons. to force something. Oh! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, yeah. though, even game, game. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. But that was good because Yoshi was at weight less percent than him, so like, yeah. you take that. Yeah, but you know, and you know what? I, you know, it's like Pika Chris had to turn it up a little bit because it's like, hey man, we're getting over him right now. This is our counter pick. We have to use this kind of a tour advantage, right? They don't have a platform to stand on, on stand under. Let's just try to push as as best as we can. We had you know, uh, Dan the Man and Jopon haven't really been able to set up that much of their usual strat. Yeah, they're still covering each other pretty well. Yeah. It's only been more conventional doubles so far, though. Yeah. PK Chris has Jopon in trouble. Yeah, I mean, um, something interesting, so Pikachu mains. Some of the few matchups they say actually are tough is Ness. It seems like Ness has a lot of tools to kind of deal with Pikachu. Oh, well, that would have been such a devastating down air. Um, yeah. And I think PK Chris is starting to use that taunt coming out with some confidence and punching that. Yeah, it's just already. Ness has such big buttons and like Pikachu likes to throw the, the themselves at the opponent, right? So Ness throwing out those big buttons kind of deters Pikachu from doing that, and you get clipped by that and you do like air to airs. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like this really aggressive thing has just made it so they cannot get their team combos going or their setup at all. But they can, yeah, they wow, can close okay. this out and make it somewhat even. But closing the Suarez stock, I don't know if they're going to get as lucky as that DK punch last time. Yeah, and, and as you say that, you, you see Dan the Man charging up that DK punch. You know, I feel like they're, they're, he's definitely planning something insidious right now. And look at this, they're kind of doing the fort now. Like just. Ness Fair and Yoshi Egg above it. Pretty tough to deal with. Oh no. This is actually like. It's yeah, actually they, not that bad of a position for Joe putting down the man right now if they could. They could kill Chris right yeah. here. And I feel like that's what they're trying to do. <gasps> Ooh. This is scary. This could be a 2v1 really quickly if they close out both these stocks. Oh, no tag! Oh, oh we're going okay, for the for us. Okay, Jopon needs to live right here. Oh! What? what? That open was... Oh, DI really high. Good stuff. Yo, that back air was really important, right? Just to get Ness off of him off stage. You need... Okay. If I am... If I am Jopon, I need to go to the ledge and not have Dan the Man standing there. And Dan the Man... <gasps> oh! With the... Uh, with the punch and instantly charge it again. Good back throw. This is tense right here. You need to watch that up air from ledge. Is that that? Yo? There's oh, no way! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, that is so strong! Yeah, man. Yeah, like I was saying, like once, once, once PK Chris started getting a lot of damage tacked onto them, right, and Suarez was a hyper sense, like this is this is where Jaw Point and Dan the Man need to strike, right? Because you saw Dan the Man laying back, charging up his charging up his DK punch, and oof, like immediately, immediately, immediately took that stock with an up air, and then. You know, anything is anything is possible after that. Yeah, that was really clean stuff. Um, I mean, 
for them to like you already saw how good they were with the lead but for them to be able to like pick it up from a deficit and mm -hmm. still like manage to get in tough spots their team combos going i feel like that shows like the strength of them overall yeah i i really think they're going to do better this set than they did in first against nixie and um mgw but we'll have to see it's only gonna be a best of uh best of threes like we were saying so they're gonna really have to adapt fast yeah they're I feel like this. I feel like this up air coming up was clutch by Dan the Man. Oh no! Okay, I didn't show it. That back throw was clutch. Yeah, hundred percent. And this, yeah. And and the reason why you could even go for that up B is because you know that you have Joe Pun behind you, ready to punish him. You can't back throw that as Ness, right? If you just do a stand and get a back throw as Ness, you're getting forward smashed by Pikachu, and you're losing your stop, right? So. Yeah. Um, that's the only reason Dan Command can even go for that up B, knowing that even if he does get punished, he's not losing the stock. Or even if he does lose stock, Ness is losing the stock 100%. And as you saw right there, uh, briefly, Pierre will get right back. Matt 